So welcome everyone to the second webinar for the, the captains uh, in the province of Quebec and the OVGA. So uh, we are happy to, to talk about golf uh, in February. That's good to, to think about golf and prepare the season. So uh, first part, I just want to uh, welcome all the new uh, captains who are nominated. Uh, lastly, by the your clubs are maybe elected by your members. So welcome to the new captain. Welcome to to the the old captain, the captain who are a lot of experience in the in the job there. So uh, we are happy to have you with us. Also, thank you uh, and welcome to the the GM. We have some GM online. We have director of golf, professional, and some honors. So. Uh, Thank you to be there. We are happy to have you and uh, we hope you, you're going to enjoy the, the presentation. So to begin, uh, we're going to, uh, I will introduce myself for, for those who don't know me. I'm uh, Patrick Rion, the, direct, the, the regional director for the province of Quebec at Golf Canada and Golf Quebec. I'm also a PGA member, a class A PGA member. So since a few years, uh, that's my 25th year uh, as a professional and uh, I, I meet a lot of golf club. I meet a few of you. I began last year with the, the captains to, to work, to give you some information. And uh, I'm proud to have with me uh, tonight. Uh, you, most of you know her and our member services coordinator, Gladys Yolio. So Gladys, do you want to say a few words? Thank you, Patrick. And um, yes, welcome to the presentation. We will give you a lot of information, but um, we will, as Patrick mentioned, record and send a communication tomorrow morning or maybe the latest Monday with all the link and the uh, PDF of the presentation. So if you missed or if you want to uh, forward it to somebody else, you will have all the information. Thank you, Gladys. Uh, as you know, everyone, Gladys working very hard for you, the golf club and the captains. Uh, during the summer, uh, she's working almost seven days a week to uh, answer your question, answer maybe your request that you have sometimes. So uh, thanks to Gladys to be here tonight and to help us and uh, uh, answer again some, uh, some questions during the, the presentation. Uh, we have a new employee at Golf Quebec right now. Uh, it's a new, uh, the new uh, course reading and uh, handicap coordinator. So uh, um, we have Maxime Desjardins who is new with us since 2022. Maxime, do you want to say a few words? Sure. Thanks, Patrick. So uh, hi, everyone. Good evening. It's a pleasure for me to uh, be a part of uh, this presentation and uh, Hopefully, we'll have a chance to communicate and uh, help you answer your questions in the upcoming weeks, months, seasons, years, decades, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> have a good one. Thanks, Maxim. Very good. So uh, we're going to begin about the, the captain's guide. Uh, you have to know that uh, we, we think about it and, since many years we have uh, already a, a captain's guide since 2012 at Gulf Quebec uh, but uh, in 2020 uh, we, we decided to put it uh, more up to date and we work with many captains to put it up to date and now we have a, a nice guide I think so to help you as a tool uh, to to be sure that you you're able to make some activities at your club and having some information about many subjects. So that guide is always uh, always on the, uh, the Golf Quebec website. You have access by when you're taking uh, the website is the services. After that, you have the club tools and it's there on the left side, you will see the, the captain's guide and you have the webinar of 2021. And we're going to put that there also the webinar of tonight with the presentation too. So if you need to refer to it, you will have access directly by the website of Golf Quebec. So in the, I don't want to, to, to see again uh, the, the captain's guide, but just want to be sure that you know what is in it. For the new captains, it's, it's really uh, a tool for you, a reference for you. Uh, about many subjects. So the, 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 the topics that we have on that, we have the formation of the committee, 
And we have also the difference between a, a captain's committee and a social committee. That's quite different for the clubs. And we have uh, how to, to plan the planning of the season, uh, the communication with the, your members, the training that you can do. Uh, field you have to the course marking and the and the rules that, that the, sometimes some captain do on the course uh, organizing uh, some events you have all the information about the organization about that and the recognition also of the captains so what is very important yes you have a lot of information but it's not uh, you are not mandated uh, it's not the mandatory to do everything on that guide you, you will compose depending of what, what's going to happen at your course, you're going to decide with the direction of the club if you want to, to do some activities. So that is just a, some reference for you with the, the, the captain guides. So about the captain recognition for, from Gulf Quebec, that's, that's something that's very important for us. Uh, you're giving time, you're giving uh, a lot of time. Many of them are so passionate about what you're doing and you you share with all the members your passion so uh we want to, to tell you a thank you about the time that you you put in your club and that's really important for us to recognize you and uh are we doing are we doing that in in uh in the gulf quebec it's about having the uh, the card of the the volunteer the gulf quebec volunteer card uh you need you need to know i will do the the the, the I will check with you what you have to do to have it. So you uh, now we have two dates that uh, that's the, the the deadline of of the uh, that we are, you have to do to be sure that you're going to receive the, those cards. So May first and June fifteen will be the dates. Uh, if you're doing it right now, that's good to do it doing it right now because we're going to, to produce it and send it. So, uh, but you have to know that after June uh, fifteen. It will not be a, a possible to have it and receive your volunteer card. So uh, as soon as you can, as soon as you, you have all the information, we ask you to uh, just put up to date uh, the contact list in the score center of Golf Canada. And you have to click on the button ver verify all. So at the top right, you have verify all. Click on that and that, that will send, send us an, an information that your list is up to date and we can produce the card. So just so you will see here uh, at the bottom, you will see that we, we circle the verify hall. So you put all the people uh, at your club, maybe, yes, it can be the general manager, it can be the, the director of golf, captains, uh, it can be also maybe the junior, uh, junior uh, person in charge, whatever. You have many people that you can put there and uh, click on the, the button verify all and we have the information so uh we are you have only the administrator of the the gulf canada uh, score center who can do that so for some club is the gm for some clubs is the accounting for some clubs maybe the captain that can happen so uh you have to be sure that the person will do it uh, before june 15. so uh next about again about this uh this card that's important to follow the protocol to using it so uh the the thing that we want we want us uh we want the, that you're going to do is you have to contact uh, the professional the gm or the director and at minimum at four days before and just telling them that you're going to to play and see what if they have uh, any discount for you any uh, maybe some of, some of the club going to let let you play for free, but some of them are just a discount, or some of them are going to to give you uh, a bucket of ball. But yeah, they have no obligation to to grant you some privilege on that. So you have to know that. And as a golf club, that's no, you, have, you are not mandatory to provide the. A, a, a free green fee directly for the players but you have to announce you a few days of a uh, few days before and see uh, what is uh, what, what the golf club is providing for you after the game we want to you to thank them maybe uh, in person maybe you're going to call them maybe you're going to to write just a, an email or a text message to give some information and just thank them for 
the game. Uh, one thing is very important. All the volunteers who overuse that ID card uh, will have will have them. So uh, some people we heard in the past uh, overuse that, that card. And uh, if we have some information about that, Gulf Quebec uh, are reserved to maybe uh, take out that card for you. So uh, that's the, the protocol about the volunteer cards. We hope you're going to use it and uh, have the chance just to thank you about the time that you, you're putting in your club. Next is about the, uh, the member club resources. Uh, you have that on the Gulf Canada website. That's a, that's a place that you have many information as a captain, as a golf club too. So uh, directly in the membership, and you have after that the member club resources. Uh, you have some information about the rules. You have some information about the handicap. You have some information about the training. You have information about uh, the retention campaign with uh, the, the golf is calling. Uh, you have some information about some studies about the, the industry. So many, many uh, points there for you. Many uh, uh, tools are there for you too. So uh, that's a place that you have to know. You have also some resources on the Gulf Quebec website. So uh, there's some place that you have all the information. You have to know that and use it uh, when, when, uh, when is the time for you. Next, you have to know, uh, this year we're going to try something. I'm going to, uh, to make a, a webinar for your members. That webinar will be about all the, uh, the membership of Gulf Quebec and Gulf Canada membership. Uh, give the, the benefit about it. Uh, give uh, the information of, of where we, uh, we put that money, where we, uh, we put that money to to develop the game, to develop the game of golf. We're going to give some information about all the entities that we have. So the regional association, Gulf Quebec, Gulf Canada, what we're doing, what is the, the purpose of each uh, organization, and also the information about uh, the handicap also. So that's a, a 30 minutes webinar. And uh, after that, you have a, a period to, to make uh, to have some question. So about 45 minutes, we think, uh, we think so about uh, that time. And you are, we're going to do it by region. And uh, for the clubs who are declaring all the members and they are over 350 members, they are, they have already be contacted uh, to, to make a, a private webinar. So uh, many golf clubs schedule it for the clubs. And we will ask you to, as a captain to contact the members. So three weeks before that, that uh, webinar, you're going to receive the advertising with the information and uh, the registration button directly on that. So uh, you can, we will ask you to send it to your members. Uh, having the information, we're going to record it and send it to you after it to uh, you're going to on your side, send it again to your members for those who can be there at this webinar. So you see the all the information about uh, the region, uh, the depending on the region, we have uh, different dates and, and hours. So uh, you have the information there. And like I said, uh, all the private club over 350 members. Uh, it will be a private webinar for that. So uh, that is a tool that we want to provide to you to help you to give the information to your members and uh, to let them know about the, the, the membership and all the benefits that we have. Second thing that you're going to receive uh, in April and maybe beginning of May, uh, we're going to uh, provide you four tools uh, directly. So the first one is going to be a sticker that you, you're going to have the both logo Golf Quebec and Golf Canada. Uh, and you're going to have also a QR code to download the Golf Canada app pretty quickly. So uh, we will ask you to put that that sticker maybe in the door of the pro shop, maybe at the counter directly uh, when you register you uh, maybe to the, the starter or at, at the pro shop but somewhere that the people can see it and use the QR code to download the, the Golf Canada app. So that's the first point. The second one is going to be a poster of the membership in action. Membership that uh, where we, we, uh, we put the money, where we, 
place the money for each department. So the golf services, the junior development, uh, the high performance, you have also the, 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 the tournament, amateur tournaments and, and the, all the relation that the relationship that we have. And uh, it's there that we put in, we put the $39 directly uh, for the, for the, the Golf Canada and Golf Quebec. So you're going to have the poster when the member will know about it, that this is something important. The, the third one is a, is a card for your golf cards. So with the information about the benefits of the membership, and the QR code also of the uh, Golf Canada app. So you can slide it. You have some place to put the name of the golfers or maybe uh, the hole when it's a, a shotgun. So that, that's the place, that's a card that you can you can put in the cart and uh, the people will, will, will be able to uh, to see the, the all the benefits. And the last one is a Golf Quebec flag with the Sorte Golfe campaign. So uh, we will ask you to put it some club will put it on, on a pin, maybe on the 18 or the, in the ninth hole, maybe on the practice facilities, maybe at the, the pro shop. But we will ask you to place it somewhere that the people is going to see it. So about the Sorte Golf phase, a campaign from Golf Quebec in six years. And uh, we try to develop some points and see the golf on the other side and, and provide uh, some information about golf. And we have now with Max Lalonde, with the the person who represents the the the, the Sorte Golfe campaign campaign, uh, directly uh, make some uh, TV uh, TV show. Uh, maybe you saw it at TV Sport. So uh, the the Golf Quebec. So you will receive those material in in April in at the end of April and beginning of May. We're going to uh, to deliver that uh, directly to your club. So that's a, another tool to help you to give the information to your members. And now I will uh, let Maxim present to you some uh, some information about the about the 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 par and uh, some information about the the t the t also the t shot. Max, it's your turn. Yes. Uh, hello again, everyone. <clears throat> so uh, next few slides are going to be uh, information about uh, course rating in general, the intent here is to educate and just give you a, some guideline concerning uh, course rating and handicap as well. The goal here is really not to overload your brain tonight so and fry all your wires. So <laughs> let's keep it simple. So you have a, a little uh, table here about the par determination. And as you can see, there is some overlap in between the different pars. So there could be a long par three and also a short par four with the same distance. So there will be a little impact. Let's say if you have a really long par four, but the course has a, is downhill all the way, it might be appropriate to keep it a par four, even though it is over the, the yardage minimal for a par five, let's say 455, it is still in the overlap zone. So it's adequate to keep it as a par uh, four. So you, how to keep in mind uh, this slide for the next few uh, few ones. We're gonna come back to it as reference. So Patrick, tu peux -tu changer? can you change slide please? So this is the T It Forward program. It has been uh, started by the USGA. And I believe it was in 2010, 2011, supported by Jack Nicholas as well. Um, and the goal here is a guideline for selecting the right tees at the beginning of a round. So it is uh, used by the driver distance. So this is the focal point. So let's say, as an example, you hit your uh, driver 175 yards. So it is recommended that you play the course between 4,400 and 4,600. So this is a chart, it is a guideline. It is uh, 
not mandatory, it's recommended. And uh, notice here, there is no uh, male or female uh, recommendation. It is only a distance recommendation. So it is unisex. There's no, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, also, there's a lot of people that, uh, it's fine for the, the changing of slides. There's a lot of people that would recommend using it. Uh, there has been studies and about 75 to 90% of people agreed with the TE It Forward program and have uh, enjoyed more their rounds of golf afterwards, after using it. So now, as you can see, you have a golf course that I've selected and some of the tees have the same distances for men and for women as well. So there is the blue tees, the white tees and the green tees that have the same distances for both sex. And as you can notice, there is a difference in the par. So the blue tees for men is a par 72 and for ladies, it is a par 73. However, they are the same distance. But if you take a look over to the left, you'll be able to see the rating and rate, different ratings for uh, every single uh, tee offs. So the course rating is adjusted in consequence over the distance. So even though they are the same distance, the course rating is not based on the same elements for men and women. What I mean by not the same elements is that the average drive and average shots by men versus the average shot by women in the course rating guide are not the same. So that's why the ratings are different, even though they are the same distance for the same tee off. So we can go to the next slide now. So this is an example of information that we send to your golf courses after we have uh, done the course rating. So it is, uh, it's a little guide uh, to explain the differences between the course rating and the slope. So most of the time we'll have comments about, oh, the slope is too low, the slope is too high, I don't understand why. So this is, a little guide to help you understand that. So the slope is not really the main factor to explain if a course is difficult or not. It is mainly the difference between the expert player and the bogey player. So those are the two players that we base on uh, rating on. So two courses might have, as you can see on the right lower part of the, the English description, some courses might have the same slope, let's say 129 slope, but have completely different ratings. So one course might be more difficult for uh, some players, but the slope will be the, the same as an easy course because it's the difference between the expert player and the bogey player. So the slope is really the difference between them. If you take a look at the diagram, you can see that the middle line, which is inclined. So the slope is the degree of this incline. And as an example, you can see I've selected uh, on the left part, you've got the yellow player. And on the right part, you've got the blue player. These two players have the same index, which is 10, and they play two different courses. The two courses have the same slope, which is 131. However, the rating is not the same. So the yellow player is playing a, a course that has a 70.1 rating, and the blue player is playing a course that has 72.4 rating, but the par is the same. It's a par 70 course. 
However, their playing handicap will not be the same for the rating reason. So the yellow player will play as a 12 handicapper and the blue player will play as a 14, even though they have the same index, they are playing the same day, but on two different courses, they don't have the same handicap because of the rating. But the slope doesn't have an, really an effect on that part. So this is a little uh, presentation just to help you out a little bit, uh, trying to understand. And you'll see in the next slide, we have a tool that will help you organize uh, from the uh, Golf Canada app. It will help you organize if uh, you're trying to do events or a little competition or friendly matches. So this is directly on the Golf Canada app. It's called the Handicap Calculator Tool. So all the white boxes on the app can be customized. So you can change uh, the numbers in there. But the course handicap, which is the red part, will be calculated in, uh, with the, the numbers you put in. So you, you can't change the course handicap. It is calculated with the, uh, the index, the slope, the rating, and the par, which is the four things that I've explained the slide before. So let's say you're a five index. You're playing a 72.1 rating at a 72 par course and the slope is 133 while the calculator will just do it for you in an instant. And also there is the user guide that will be available, Patrick, right? If you can just point it out with your mouse. Yeah, right so, here. Yeah, so it will be available to click and it will explain to you how to use the app for every single part of it and also this uh, course handicap calculator. It's also a good tool, I think. So for the person who are, who are in charge of a league or maybe to organize some teams or some match. Uh, so uh, that's a nice tool for that, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, there is a part of the handicap rule book that explains uh, what percentage of handicap you should use depending on which game you're playing with your friends or in your league. So uh, calculating the course handicap will help you uh, determine which playing handicap you're going to use depending on the formula you're going to play. Good. And the last slide, but not least, is uh, about the handicap certification program. So if you go on Golf Quebec website under services, you simply click on handicap that will bring you to the handicap page of the uh, golf Quebec website and as you can see with the little arrow there that there is a certification that is available online it's about 75 minutes and it's three videos and uh, there is a quiz that you can complete after uh, to receive a certification uh, probably some of you already have done it, but I suggest that you do it because it will help you greatly in understanding the new World Handicap system, how it works, how you can help your members understand it as well. So this is a little suggestion. And uh, as we said here, it is uh, really to give you out uh, tools to help you do a better job or uh, maintain something at your club that uh, has been done so far. And that's pretty much it. Good, good job, Max. So uh, there's a few good tools and uh, that's fun to see a new employee having, uh, having all this knowledge is, uh, as a Max is a, is a golfer since few years, I think so, many years, I think. So uh, I'm passionate, so that's good for you and you will be helping you if you, if you need at, uh, at some point. Next subject is about uh, the, the amateur status, uh, many of you know that uh, we have some change in 2022. I want to simplify that and just to be sure that you have the right information about, yes, uh, an amateur can win some money, right? Uh, since uh, January 2022, it's uh, $1,200 that he can have for the tournament. But you have to, uh, to see for two rules, because 
We don't want you as a golf club to begin to make some mini tournaments for cash, you know. And uh, you have to know that two rules are there. So the first one, uh, you have to do only one categories. So uh, that is a one categories. You don't have to to do a, a net score on that if you use the the uh, the handicap. Sorry about that, but you can do you can't do a. Uh, uh, a tournament with money so uh it have to be for only one uh, categories and we, you don't have to use uh handicap direct uh, for directly for that tournament and uh, yes we can you can take the money but you know we suggest a lot and uh, we suggest that to the elder regional association about just uh, encouraging your pro shop your golf pro and giving some uh, again gift uh, gift certificate uh, from the pro shop and try to uh, celebrate that so to uh, to encourage the the golf, the golf shop at your club so that is that is something important uh, you have to know many rules are there uh, with some little change you're going to receive the document from the USGA and the RNA and uh, we're going to send it with the, the presentation but that point was uh, very important to know and to understand uh, directly for the tournament. Next point is about the categories for a competition. Mini Golf Club is doing some competition uh, in teams of two or three. Sometimes it's a single competition. Uh, we don't have any uh, categories directly that's absolutely those numbers that you have to use. Uh, you have to modify it maybe if you if you need at your club depending of your reality and uh I, we know that many golf clubs doing a, a category maybe the a category but the beginning to zero to 8.4 or 12 or some of them doing doing uh up to 18 to for the a category the things that we want to uh to give you it's about a few criteria that we have and uh, maybe you have to be aware about it. That, that's the recommendation that the, the, the competition team at Golf Quebec uh, recommend to you. So first of, all, first of all, we propose you that your golfers who are playing your tournaments must believe they can finish in the top three. That is really important because if the, the, the categories is too wide, uh, the people at the end having the, the, the higher handicap Maybe we'll say, oh, I have no chance, so I will not play that tournament. But when they have the chance to finish on the podium, you know, that is something that the motivation is there and they are interested to play the tournament. So that is something that is very important. And for, for those of you, maybe you can do a net ranking and a gross ranking also. So you can you are able to do it. So uh, many golf clubs doing that, and that's, there is a motivation for everyone. Maybe when you have a net uh, ranking, that's helped a lot. And uh, having also the, the real score to make your ranking and give, uh, give some price and prices and, uh, and awards uh, for your club. Uh, for the categories who are, we, are we, know, we know we have many categories and often is, is with the, the women uh, we have uh, categories 18 and under. Uh, we, we recommend to you uh, to maybe split it in two or maybe in three uh, to have more fun, we'll have more competition. And you will hear from, you will hear from the, 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 the players, oh, it's always the same person who win the tournaments. That is, a, that is a something that you have to, you have to, uh, move a flag and say, oh, well, that is something. If, if your player said that it's always the same person is going to win, that is something that you can uh, remember and see what you're going to do. So you have to work maybe on your categories and uh, put that to be interesting for everyone. So that's the recommendation that the, the teams of, of competition and Gulf Quebec propose 
but we don't have any uh, limit. Uh, it's not absolutely absolutely uh, zero to 4.4. You can move and uh, adjust it depending your situation. So uh, that's open about that, but you have to think about your golfers and be sure everyone will have fun for your events. After that, that is uh, something that we talked about last year on the Gulf Canada website, you have access to an expert if you need a second decision, or maybe you don't want uh, to, to take the decision for rules, uh, maybe for rules at the, the club championship, maybe for the inter-club qualification, whatever the, the reason. Uh, we have the, the, the person in English uh, on the website of, of Gulf Canada, you have the phone number, it's Akash Patel is in charge of that. Uh, it's always seven days, uh, seven days a week that it's, it's open to that. And now with the FaceTime or the messenger videos, you can show what's happening and they're going to help you on that. And something that was missing uh, uh, for the, the French people, that's having a referee uh, talking French. So we're going to provide that in a few weeks uh, for, uh, for all the clubs also. So we're going to send the information. That's the, the reason of the... that. Uh, that slide uh, about the, this information, but you have it in English for you uh, right now, and you can ask for any question or maybe a second decision that a golfer can ask for that and be sure that uh, you have access. So uh, that, that is a, uh, something that you have access to as a golf club, as a, the captain may be in charge of an event, a league, or maybe sometimes uh, for the inter club, that is something uh, interesting for you. Okay, so uh, coming soon, uh, you're going to have the link. We're going to send it to you uh, maybe tomorrow morning. You're going to receive the captain's webinar. You're going to receive also the PowerPoint with the, the document and the information. You're going to receive the amateur status document and also many links that we have as a tool for you for many information. Yeah, you will have the, the benefit of the membership. You will have... Uh, the club resources, uh, the, the captain's guide, you will, you will receive many uh, links about that you can use for you and use for your club. So that's coming soon, uh, maybe tomorrow morning, we're going to send it uh, to all the clubs uh, directly and you will uh, have access to it. Also, if you have any question, comment, suggestion, uh, we are really open to everything. We want to help you. So you have all our uh, information to contact us. Uh, it's about the membership, maybe, or uh, some uh, renewals or uh, transfer that you have to do with Gladys. You, you can move on that. The, the score center, Gladys can, can help you a lot. Maxim, about uh, the, um, the course reading or the handicap is the person to help you. And uh, on my side, I can touch to many points also to help you and uh, about the junior programming, about the membership too about uh, some anniversaries, maybe celebration that you're going to have during the year. So uh, whatever you, you have uh, some requests or some, uh, some demands, we are there to help you. Maxim, you have, uh, you raise your hand. Simply a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't see it. Well, good. Uh, it's now the time for about the question. So I'm going to stop the share. And we, uh, if you have any question, I don't know if you, we have some on the, the chat. Uh, Gladys, do you have some question on the chat? Okay, Mrs. Rook, you, you share your screen. We're going to, sorry about that. Okay, good. So sorry. if you have, <laughs> if you have any, no problem. If you have uh, any question, you can open your mic or, and ask it. That's the time for it. Patrick, it's Jeffrey K. Yes. I have a question about the members webinar that you discussed and you showed the different dates, right? That that's yeah. going to be available. Yeah. That's, that's not a live presentation. It's a, it's a presentation that can be shown at any time because mm -hmm. correct. Because I noticed Montreal says February 16th, which yes. is. Montreal is going to be next week uh, already. And 
for for some clubs like Hillsdale, uh, we propose to have a private one because you are over 350 Correct. members. Okay. And uh, we have to just, uh, I know I didn't receive any information from Hillsdale, but uh, we have to select a date and uh, making the private webinar for your members. So okay, that was communicated with yeah. Eric Mercier, the club pro, or was it with Luc Lapointe who was communicated? It was uh, it was with the person and it was, uh, it was with with the on, on the contact list. Uh, but I know you changed uh, the honor and uh, maybe some people there. But I think the contact list is not uh, up to date. It's maybe the, the problem because the I didn't okay. receive anything. So if you can check on your side with the, the group there and uh, I can send it to you after that, you return okay. you the, the information about it. OK, I will check. Uh... I'll check tomorrow and I'll also I'll, check the contact. I'll take a note and I will make a follow up with you tomorrow. Okay. That's no good. Problem. Thank you. Mr. Farrell, you have your hands, uh, hands up. Yes. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, thanks for the information to you and your colleagues, uh, Gladys and Maxim. Uh, regarding the uh, private webinar for the clubs, the large clubs, I'm, I'm at Summerlee, um, yeah. will be available if we need to do French and English. We're going to do it in the language that you want. Uh, it's not a problem. And the presentation will be in, in uh, both language. So that's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. So we would, okay. So we would contact you guys to arrange uh, something Perfect. like that. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Walter. Uh, Patrick, for the T it forward uh, information, do you have signs available, posters available or anything like that, that we could use to post at the club? You will have maybe Maxim. You can tell us. Uh, I think it's on the website of the USGA that you, we have access to that. And I know I can tell you that the, the committee at Golf Canada is uh, is talking about that and see how we can maybe implement that maybe around the country because a lot of golf club asking and add some T box also about that to 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 be able to play that chart. But uh, they're just talking right now about the situation. So uh, no decision uh, have been made, but that's that is something that we they evaluate uh, on the on the committee uh, for maybe 2023. We will see. But you have access to it, I think. So uh, Maxim, uh, correct me on the USGA uh, website. Yeah, it is available on the USGA, and also there is a nice article of it on the PGA of Canada. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Another question? There is one in the chat, uh, Patrick, about uh, the rule seminars. When are they available from uh, Mr. King? OK, so uh, you can do your level one on the website directly. It's online. Uh, you're going to uh, to follow the, the presentation after that you're going to uh, insert to the quiz and have your certification for the level two and level three you have to register directly to by golf quebec uh, to eric couture i know uh, they began a few weeks ago i think so they said the level two level three they are around 60 to 70 person in that uh, that uh, training and then you have to register for that. Normally, it's during the winter. It's right now. We, they have uh, many, many seminars on that to follow. And after that, they have uh, a quiz also to do. And they, uh, they have to, they need to have the 80% the 80, 80 and plus to, to be certified. So that's uh, another level that's more tough, of course. But a lot, uh, a lot of things are uh, touched in that uh, that seminars. So uh, you have access in that in, in the the rules part, and uh, you have access also to uh, Eric Couture. Does this correct me if it is there the in the services that the, you have, we have access to that for the the training of the the rules? Your mic is yes. Yes, it's under the services, and you just have to select the, the rule formation after. And all the information is there to send you to the appropriate website for the rules uh, level one, and after that to uh, reach uh, Eric Couture for the uh, two other level. Good. 
Another, yeah, we do we have any other question on the chat? No. No? Someone else have a question? Okay, so uh, I want to take the time to thank you everyone for the time that you're giving to your clubs, uh, your passion that you have for your golf club. Uh, that's good for everyone, good for all the industries that we have people like you. Uh, you are uh, super volunteer. You are, for me, the great people are very important for a golf club, for the direction of the club also, for the, the director, maybe the pro, maybe the, the owner. That's, uh, you are the, a person that can give a, a lot to the clubs and that make a big difference about the all the activities, the dynamics that you, you put in, in the clubs. So thanks for your time. Thanks to be there. Thanks to be involved. Uh, we're going to continue to give you some information during the year. Uh, yesterday, the group in French proposed to have me be uh, uh, something that all the captains will be together to share, to, uh, to share information, to share the situation from some clubs. That is something they request about that. So we're going to think about it and uh, maybe about with the, the social media, we can make a group of all the captains in the province and exchange on some points, on some activities, on some uh, question. And uh, many people are new captains every year and some, some of them are there since many years and have a lot of background, but uh, we need to use your background and uh, have good information and share uh, some good uh, good action from you. So uh, we will see, we'll try to make something for you, all the captains, put all the team also inside. Uh, Maxime, Gladys, uh, Eric, Sandrine, the teams to answering also your question and, and your request that you have maybe sometimes about a few, uh, few, uh, few topic. So we want to thank you. Uh, thanks for your time. And uh, anytime if you need some help, some support. We are there to help you. And uh, we hope you're going to have a good winter and see you maybe uh, during the summer. Thank, Thank you, Patrick. Patrick. Thank you for everything Thank you guys you. do. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Messi.